everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL Advanced Edition. We're obviously going to play a new game with the Advanced Edition content enabled, and this time I think I'm going to go with the NG Cruiser. We've got a couple different layouts here. We've got the Taurus, uh, but then additionally, I think if I go to the B layout, we have the Vortex, and the difference between them is basically that we start with um, we start with drones on both of them, but I kind of prefer the Taurus uh, because it starts with better sensors, I guess. Is that the case? Seems like we start with one level of sensor. Oh, no sensors. There's just no sensors on the Vortex. And we only have one crew member. Mind you, we do have system repair drones and stuff like that. But it's a little intimidating for a beginner like myself. Why don't we just go with the Taurus? We'll have an NG, uh, or two, two NG crew members and one human crew member. So we'll have our human be the pilot because they're going to be pretty much uh, hands off. And we want our NGs to be hands on. So you're going to be, at least to start with, you're going to be NG engine. And then I'll accept that, and you are going to be Matt. It's a good name, but I think instead I'm going to go with NG, uh, yeah, NG Weapon. All right, so you're going to be Weapon, and uh, we can customize the name of our ship as well. Instead of the Taurus, why don't we uh, we rename it the Ship of Good Hope? Uh, oh, Ship of Good Hop. I'll take it, I guess. Um, and then we'll start. Because I want this to go better than uh, better than it did last time, so I just got to get used to the layout here. Um, engine is on the engine, weapon is on the weapon, and pilot is piloting. That seems really good. So what's interesting about this is that I just need to take a quick look at our um, our layout here. We need to depower the med bay because our drone control room takes. Does it really take three power? Will this use a part if I just do it? No enemy ship. Okay, so it won't let us do it. Um, we, we start with an Ion Blast, this lowers enemy shields, or disables whatever room we want it to if shields are already down, uh, and it fires one shot per charge that has a uh, stun effect, usually lasts for uh, a while, but anyway. Um, we also have a combat drone which will then do the rest of our damage for us, so we're a little bit uh, worse off with this ship from a, an offensive standpoint, but from a defensive standpoint I think we're a little bit better because we can repair faster and whatnot. Let's see, we're going to start with some combat right away. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Okay, um, let's have our combat drone come out. That did cost us a drone part, but it only takes two power. I guess it has the capabilities of using three, but it only takes two for now. Um, all right, so our drone is going to do work, but not very good work. Wow, Ion Blast comes up so quickly. So we're just going to uh, basically remember to constantly have our, auto, our Ion Blast firing, just so we can keep enemy shields down and other subsystems if possible. Wow, that is a really powerful laser uh, for them to just be starting off here. Let's have our weapons personnel go over and... Uh, they're going to be dead soon, so I don't think we need to worry about fixing our drone part right away. Instead, we can just worry about... Um, keeping their shields and weapons down and getting our oxygen back up so we don't end up in an awful tailspin like happened last time. I really need to continue firing faster. I should basically like program two um, ion blasts at the same time. Like whenever I fire one, program another one immediately after. And we're gonna win here uh, as soon as this next uh, beam drone hits. Which it did! And we've already fixed everything up so we're good to go. Alright, that could have gone a lot worse. We got five fuel and twenty scrap, which is a pretty sweet payout just to start with here. Uh, one of the first things that I'm gonna be looking for on this run as the NG ship is a second weapon that doesn't require us to use drone parts to actually do damage, because as of right now we have to use drone parts to do damage. Haha! -ha, I knew someone would follow- sorry, let me try that again. <clears throat> Haha! <laughs> I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap! It appears the distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush! The underpants gnome pirates, apparently. Um, we're gonna send out our drone uh, part here. And this scares the shit out of me. Let's get our shields uh, prepared and then get one set on their weapons as well. Uh, why does it scare the shit out of me? It scares the shit out of me because they have a missile launcher which could easily disable our drone part, as you saw. But luckily, because we have so much surplus power for our drone, it taking one hit of damage doesn't actually cause any problems. That was stupid of me. I should have had the Ion Blast working at all times. But, drone's doing good work. Here comes another missile. Where does it land? Oh, uh, it looks like it's going for weapons, so I'm just going to shoot the Ion as fast as I can. No, it went for pilot. Uh, it hit our, hit our pilot right in the fucking face, but that's okay, I guess. Let's see if we can take out their weapons. Ah, they got a missile off, like, just before. Okay, it's still fixing here. Uh, piloting system is really running into issues, but... Man, I should really- I, I can set Ion Blast to just auto-fire, so let's just- Will it auto-fire without me programming a place for it to go? No. So let's just, uh, have it constantly fire at, uh, at weapons. That should be fine. It'll keep their shields down as well. Uh, we've actually lost our Ion Blast now, which is really bad. I'm mishandling this fight to a certain extent, I'll admit. I'll admit, 100%. So, um, Pilot is not gonna die. 
that much is pretty certain. You need to go fix those shields as soon as possible, or we're going to run into some serious issues. Ion Blast has to come back up. We're going to have it uh, auto blast this time on the shields. Auto fire, I should say, this time on the shields. It missed. That's fantastic. Uh, this is really scary. I, we should still come out of this easily in first, but, well, easily with a win, I should say. Come on, drone. Oh, the drone missed! And then we got a freaking fire in here, man! Okay, so you get in the med bay, and we'll actually power down... I don't want to power down our engines to heal you in the med bay. Oh my god, stop missing! The doors are gonna go out, and then how are we gonna put out the freaking fire, you dongle? Um... Actually, the doors are already out. This is scary. We need to kill them. We need to kill them quickly. Come on, drone. You can do this. There's a hit. One more hit. That's all you need. Okay, they're dead. Now, we need to sort this right the heck out. Okay, so freeze. Oh, they're not frozen. Okay. The doors need to be fixed ASAP. Uh, so actually, we'll send the NG in there instead of the human. The fire is definitely going to spread to the med bay. I mismanaged this fight a little bit. Oh, you didn't go in there? Okay. We should save our crew layout as well. Um, now we can power down our... Ion Blast and power up our med bay so our, our human will get fixed a little bit. And the doors are done. Okay, so now that the doors are fixed, we're going to open all doors, including the outside doors. And this will extinguish the fire. And the med bay is powered up, so we should be fine to not die, theoretically. Send all our NGs in here as well so they don't starve or like run out of oxygen to death. Close the doors and then. Immediately start fixing up uh, the pilot area in here. This should be fixed up pretty quickly. Oxygen is powered up. That was poor play or poor management on my part, but whatever. We we got it sorted. Um, everybody come back here into the med bay, heal up a little bit. All right, and once they get to 100, we will send people back to where they belong. You go here. Uh, weapon, you go to the weapons, and engines, you go or engine, you go to the engines. That was not strong play from me. By the way, I would like to say thank you for your support on the series so far as I do this kind of like micromanagement stuff here. Uh, it has really helped out a lot, and I really appreciate the support you've given the series so far. All series so far. All videos ever that I've, I've, ever, I've ever done. For everybody else, fuck them. Um, we're going to jump. I'm still confident in our abilities here. Maybe stupidly. Uh, okay. A specially well-armed pirate ship approaches you, hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. We can either draw straws and send a crew member over, or we will never surrender one of our crew members. As much as I hate Weapon, he's not looking at us, uh, he's giving us the stink eye all the time. I can't afford to surrender a crew member, even though this ship looks really, really, really scary. Um, we'll just power up, and we'll get our engines powered up as high as they'll go. Uh, and, and we'll see if we can't make this work. So we're going to auto-fire, just so I don't forget to fire it, and we're going to make sure that that fires at the... Uh, at the shields constantly, and it will. Okay, so just do damage. Take out weapons. Okay, uh, a hull hit is fine, I guess. Take out... Just stop hitting the hull, you scumlord! What the heck did they... Sh they shot, like, shrapnel at me there or something. That was crazy. I have never seen that weapon before. I actually have no idea what it is. Shoot shields? No? Okay. Just shoot any... Shoot the weapons, you scumbag! This drone! Yeah, it just... It does, like, shoot straight-up shrapnel at me. That is a really scary and, uh, you know nasty weapon. Alright, we're gonna set it to shoot on, um, our Ion's gonna shoot on weapons from now on. Uh, accept their offer. They'll give us a crew member. I'll accept their offer for a crew member. Of course, the shrapnel still tore, tore me apart, but, um, sorry. Take this guy in here and fix... Oh, wait, the oxygen is not fixed yet. Continue fixing the oxygen. Disregard. Alright, so we have another crew member. He's gonna become our shields expert. And we really, really need to heal up pretty quickly. That shrapnel is nasty, man. Okay, so we've got a shield crew member now. Um, sensors are back up. Oxygen levels are fine. We're going to save it up. At least we got another crew member here, so we're going to save our crew locations. Uh, and we're going to jump. We can go to a store. We're still going to be able to get to the exit quickly enough, I think. Might just want to heal up here a little bit, to be honest with you. But if there's a weapon, we might want to buy that instead. So they have a heavy ion, which is good. Uh, but I kind of like our ion blast as well. Uh, Ion Blast 2. Defense Scrambler prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. That seems super useful. Advanced FTL uh, allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and FTL. Recharge booster, FTL powers up faster. And we've got some crew members that we can buy, which might not be the worst thing in the world, but... Um, I think we're just gonna fix it up as much as I would prefer to not. We also have the NG bot... Oh, the NG Medibot Dispersal, which requires powered medbay to function. NG Nano Medbots heal the crew outside of the medbay at a reduced speed. Okay, so I do need to power up the medbay to get the value of this, but still. Um, let's, uh, we're not going to fix all. We're just going to fix up to, like, green. There we go. 
And you know what I am going to do is power up. Oh, I'm one shy of being able to power up another level. I was going to do it to keep our medbay powered up so the nanobot dispersal worked. Uh, but sure, let's jump to this distress beacon. Feeling a little bit better about things. Four crew members is better than better than uh, three. A distress signal from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Okay, we'll promise to help. We can uh, simply fire on the defense system, or we could use an ion weapon to disable it, or we could remotely repair its targeting system with our NG crew. Let's go with that. All right, so we did that. Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew, crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you its thanks, along with the reward, a drone part and some extra scrap. So we're going to level up uh, our power once, just so we can have a powered med bay and extra engine power. I realize I could micromanage and not have to worry about that, but why not take advantage of our passive... Um, Extra nan NG nanobot med bot dispersal. You get the idea. Uh, this is still only section one, so we still got a lot of time left. We want to upgrade our shields, of course, upgrade our engines. You come across a space station under construction. You receive a message from their command tower. Greetings. We recently lost contact with a cargo ship that was set to deliver more construction materials. Could you help us figure out what happened to them? Yes, we'll offer our help. So they give us uh, fuel, missiles, and drone parts, and they put a quest marker on our map. Which... We might be able to get to and still get to the beacon, but it's going to be close. We'll see. Um, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Well, we could definitely use more drone parts, so I think I'm going to attack it. It looks like it only has a missile launcher, which, you know, oh, it has a missile launcher and a drone. Um, that doesn't necessarily make me feel a whole lot better about the whole situation that it only has a missile launcher. That being said, um... Typically, that will be a little bit easier to deal with uh, than if it had multiple weapons. So we have taken out the... Uh, uh, the engines will get fixed. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, we have taken out their... Uh, their weapons and uh, their shields temporarily. Their drone is still functioning, unfortunately. I'm really just micromanaging, like, where my ion blasts land. We're just alternating shields, weapon, shields, weapon. But um, our drone is going to finish the job for us here quite nicely. And that'll be that. I'm glad I took the uh, impetus to actually fight this unit. We get 12 scrap. And then from the station, we get nothing. So that's actually really, really nasty. I'm just gonna exit. I know that seems shitty, but we we actually... I thought we could jump from the quest back, but we can't. So I'm just gonna go to the exit. I can't afford to get overrun by the rebels. Uh, we'll get destroyed. And uh, what do we get here? You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader? We could buy one slave, uh, but we don't have the necessary scrap. We can attack them or ignore them and continue on our way. I think we're gonna attack them. They only have two lasers. That's scary. We're going to ignore them. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to go to the next sector. Uh, and we'll go to... Why don't we go to the Mantis Control? Make things more difficult on ourselves and maybe get better rewards as a result. So, Sector 1 did not necessarily go fantastically. But let's look at Sector 2. We'll jump out into this kind of, like, spoke, if you will. Or a hub and spoke. Uh, so we can see a lot. Your world all of a sudden changes. The Mantis are on board your ship. Okay, well, we don't have second level doors. That's something I should have gotten right away. But unfortunately, now they can just move freely throughout the ship. So what we're going to do is open uh, all doors. And we're going to try to starve them. They may still go for the oxygen. But since we have a powered med bay, we're just going to put all of our humans and, and NG inside of the med bay. Uh, and we're going to close the doors to the med bay. So they'll still be safe. But all of the other ships... Oh, you should get in the med bay, my friend. All of the other... Um, only three people can fit inside the med bay? I didn't realize that was the case. Um... If they don't destroy the oxygen, which they didn't, they're going to have to fight us in the med bay. And if they fight us in the med bay, they will die, I think. Unless they focus the same person. But we can always micro them in and out. Uh, so what we should do here is just close all doors on the ship. Uh, and this will mean that oxygen will start to pump throughout the ship again, which is going to be very nice. But uh, we're going to get some extra fighting experience here, which is good as well. So not a, not a terrible encounter, except that we don't get any rewards for it. So let's we'll have everybody heal up here. The metabots did their work, or nanobots did their work. Back to base, everybody. There we go. Are you being hurt? No. Okay, that's good. All right, let's upgrade our doors. Oh, it costs 35. Never mind. We'll upgrade our doors soon, then. Go up to another uh, hub and spoke here so that hopefully we can get to... Oh, solar flares. Oh, no. Okay. Who knew... Who? Sorry. Who knows why the Mantis would venture so close to a sun? Perhaps to make it more of a challenge. All right. That's that's the only dialogue we need, I guess. Definitely going to send out a combat drone here. They have a missile launcher and a laser. That's scary. Uh, sh their shields are down, but their missile's going to fire. And that's where things can get really nasty here. Uh, the missile lands on our oxygen area. So we're going to send our... Uh, NG over there to fix that too freaking sweet. Otherwise, uh, things will be very bad pretty soon. We should come out of this fight 
alive and and winning as well. Um, but it's gonna be uh, not easy. And you know, solar flares can just start fires everywhere. So um, we really need this to end as soon as possible. Here comes the solar flare. And okay, they're dead. That's good. The solar flare did start a fire. Should be reasonably okay to deal with. Just take care of it like so. Could send people into extinguish it, but we've got to wait for our FTL drive to charge up all the way too. The ship explodes and gives us some scrap fuel and a drone part, which is nice. Um, we can't upgrade our ship because of our situation here. We really need to get that second level doors, if for nothing else, then fire suppression. All right, the fire's out. We're going to jump, and we'll jump over here. Not a great sector so far. Haven't really picked up anything of value. Uh, we have another fight here. All non mantis ships that enter our territory are forfeit. Lower your shields and surrender if you value your lives. That's all right. If you want to come over here and fight me, by all means, uh, we'll power up our drone here and get our ion blast auto firing. Where are they going to start? They're going to start over here. I really, don't get me wrong, I want to get the shields up as soon as possible. Uh, the game's just making it kind of difficult so far. And that's fine. We'll, we'll hide out in the med bay. If they want to fight in the med bay, we can fight in the med bay. They're not going to take out our weapons. Oh, maybe they will actually get to take out one weapon bar. No, no. Doesn't matter. We did some damage. I think they might get to take out one bar of weapons. No, they ran away. Okay, thank God. You're really going to go over the oxygen? That just makes you a dick. We're all going to die if you do that. Uh, but I don't think they're going to get to do it, so that's fine. Uh, they're going to come for the med bay now, and then we'll kill them in the med bay. It might be good to have our pilot come out and help them, just to speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so we're um, we're gonna survive this just fine, and we actually will be able to upgrade our doors. They have chosen to teleport their mantis back so he can die with the ship, as opposed to dying on our ship. Let's close all the doors. And uh, I'm just gonna rehydrate a little bit as we wait for the oxygen to replenish the ship. Uh, those areas in particular, and then we'll send everyone back to where they belong. So, uh, let's upgrade our doors. And we upgraded a little power as well. Um, we didn't need to upgrade that power, actually. That was kind of silly. There's a distress beacon, but we'll jump to some interim beacons along the way. I think this is going pretty well so far. Uh, we have another ship. You're immediately hailed by an impressive-looking Mantis ship. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Why? I guess it was my fault for coming to this Mantis area, but Jesus, these guys are way more hostile than I anticipated. My, at this point, with second-level doors, though, we should be pretty uh, good at dealing with their bullshit when they invade. Actually, their invasions are not the worst part for me at all. Um, that part is usually pretty easy. So we're just gonna starve them of oxygen, and now we can actually keep them kind of hidden in the rooms. Or sorry, not hidden, but trapped, which is extremely important. Good shot on the oxygen drone. You're doing a you're doing the Lord's work there. Um, our door system needs to be repaired. We're gonna send the engine man to go take care of that. Uh, and we'll just have, like, it's, we're kind of in the same position that we're in um, as a, a human ship, or as the Kestrel, I should say. Um, you pick up more chatter for the enemy ship. You know what? Forget this! Prepare for retreat. They look like they're preparing to make a hasty getaway. Uh, yeah, they're gonna try to escape. Ooh, that was bad timing. Ooh, th that was not, though. That was better. Okay, I'm gonna try to disable their engines with my, uh, ion. My next ion. We took out their weapons. I know we've got stuff to repair. We should at least close the doors. Um, but, uh, that, that should hit. Oh, and... Good, okay, that was kind of close, but we made it work. All right, what do we get? 24 scrap, one fuel, one drone part. Fair enough. Uh, return to your positions, please. And we will jump again. There's another distress beacon. We'll go to it, even though distress beacons have kind of effed with us so far. I think the next upgrade I'm going to try to get is another weapon. Um, we can give them fuel, or apologize, wish them luck, and move on. Hello, we used our last... I don't know why I want to do a different voice. Hello, we used our last FTL fuel to jump to the station. They indicate a burnt-out husk of debris and warp metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. It, it sounds like it. It's a pretty annoying voice. I'll give them the fuel. What do they give us as a result? As a result, um, We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. Alright, so we feel good, but uh, we didn't really gain anything as a result of that. So, we can see some distress beacons. We can see a store. I think we'll go distress, exit, store, exit, if I had to guess. I think that's probably our best course of action. We'll see, though. Uh, we got another ship here. When they see the Mantis warship waiting in ambush at your intended coordinates, your crew is relieved to note you've jumped some way off the mark. So we could either attack the ship, it looks like they have a missile launcher, and maybe a drone? No, teleporter. Um, we could, Or we could attempt to remain concealed. I'm going to attack them. With only one level of shields, I'm not scared by one missile launcher. They could do some damage to me, but whatever, right? Not a huge problem. So we're going to start by aiming at the shields. And, uh, yeah, of course they're going to board our ship, because they always do. 
But we're just gonna go hang out in the med bay, basically, and um, open all the doors. And if you want to come fight me, I'll put a backup uh, man in there, just in case. And here we go. I really don't know how the cloning bay works, but we might get a chance to see it here. Let's see if they choose to fight me in the med bay. I think that would be a silly decision, but if they uh, they want to do it, then more power to them, I guess. That mantis... Oh, they teleported him out just in time. Doesn't really matter. If, if I wanted to kill him, I... I'll just blow up the ship, won't I? Um, this is just spite at this point. All right, so the ion's doing a very good job. Teleporter's not going to let anybody get off to safety, and the ship is dead. Okay, let's close all doors. And uh, once the oxygen is back, we'll repair that system. More scrap is great. Really want to get that next level of shields up. It's going to cost us 50 to do it, and then we'll have to lower power to the engines or the med bay. We'll lower power to the engines just so we can have the drone ready to go. All right, you two humans come in here and repair this, and then we'll send everybody back to their stations. I think the second sector has gone fairly well so far, now that we have two, bar of sh two bars of shields, at least we got something out of it. Uh, everybody go back to base, please. Alright, and we'll prepare to jump, and we're going to go to the exits. Uh, wait, where are we right now? We're here. So yeah, we're going to go exit, distress, exit, I guess. Sorry, I just got confused, because we've already scanned those areas where it's not normally the way it looks. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand their surrender of their goods or avoid the ship. We'll demand the surrender, and I'm assuming that's going to lead to a fight. Um, and they are trying to escape. They have a shrapnel launcher. I don't know what it's actually called, as well as uh, the laser here, which is super annoying. We're going to risk a drone part, but I really doubt we'll actually be able to kill them before they get away. Why would you teleport onto our ship? If you're trying to get away. That just seems like you don't know what you want, do you? So I'm hoping, what I'm going to try to do, normally I go, like, attack the weapons, attack the shields with the ion. Attack the weapons, attack the shields. What I'm actually going to do here is attack, um, attack the shields. Wow, they're really going to town. Uh, drone's still working, though. I'm going to go attack the shields, attack the engine. Attack the shields, attack the engine. And hopefully my drone picks up some of the slack. Here comes some more shrapnel. Why is this guy not dying? He should be taking more damage. Oh, shit, our Ion Blast is offline. Oh, come back. Our drone's not going to be able to do anything, but if it hinders their engine, at least, that's fine. Um, okay, they've teleported him away. Uh, Ion Blast is back. It charges so quickly. Good, that none of those hit me, which is very surprising, given the circumstances. Here we go. Their engines are disabled. One more hit will kill them. Close all doors. Send you into the drone control room to heal it up, and we're good to go. Okay, you should have just given me your goods. That was... didn't have to go like that. Oh my god, really? I'm so pissed that that actually hit. Um, getting that extra scrap is nice, I guess. Uh, the drone unit will be healed in a second here. The piloting system will be healed in yet another second. And can we get more power? No, it's going to cost us 25. Okay, that's fine. Let's jump. We're going to go to the... We can't go to the store. No, we're just going to go to the distress beacon. And then we'll come back. This could be a trap. It could be terrible, but it could be good as well. Um, once you arrive at the location of a distress call, our civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Can you lead us there? Okay, we'll agree to do it, if for nothing else than the scrap. Um, and then we'll go to the exit, and we may be able to jump from the exit to their destination, but I'm wary about whether or not we can get back. But it actually looks like we will be able to, so I'm going to risk it. We're going to drop them off here. We're going to have to deal with the fight, it looks like. Uh, you escort the ship to the requested beacon. Much to your dismay, you were ambushed by a rebel ship. You walked right into their trap. Okay, well, that makes me kind of an idiot, doesn't it? But um, are they going to board us as well? Yep, they have chosen to board right next to the airlock. Smart idea. Best of luck to you uh, with that one. And we're going to go shields and uh, shields and weapons. Shields and weapons. And hopefully our beam does a good job and took out their engines or at least weakened them. They only have two laser shots, so they're actually not going to be able to get through our shields, which is good. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased about that. This guy is not having a great time on our ship. I can understand why. Their teleporter's been damaged, though, so I'm sorry, dude, but you basically have no way out at this point. Uh, it's like a WrestleMania situation. You are going to die. There's nothing more satisfying than that. Uh, I don't want missiles at this point. We're, we're not going to accept surrender. It was a relatively okay offer. Oh, he's not dead yet. Sorry. It was a relatively okay offer if we uh, if we use missiles, but we don't. So, sorry. Uh, instead, we will just let your crew member suffocate to death on our ship. And, um, you know, it's really debatable who has it worse off because you're about to explode. I wish this guy would just join my side now, but he's not going to. So, we get 24 scrap. Is this He's like a total... Like, draconian... Not draconian, like a Pyrrhic victory for this guy. You're just gonna suffocate, and then... Okay, fantastic. At least you caused, a, like, a real pain in the ass before you did die, right? Is that the way you feel about things? 
We have 59 now, so we're gonna power up one more. That lets us get another bar of engine power. Um, and we can do it. No, we can't quite do it one more time. With a few more scrap, we can do it again. So we can actually get to the exit and get out of here. Sector 2, I think, went off swimmingly. I'm just gonna take a drink of water here. The long videos. Let's take it easy this time. We'll go to the Zoltan controlled sector. And of course we start in a nebula, because otherwise it would be far too easy. Please tell me we can- Hey, we can jump out of it if we jump as far as we can go. And it looks like we're probably gonna have a fight here, as we often do. Oh no! You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Yeah, we'll participate in their study. That gave us 18 scrap, and nobody died. That's good news! So, engines go up, and we get to have a little bit of scrap left over, and there you go. Uh, we have... Uh, another 5% dodge chance when someone is actively manning the engine room, which is always we really need some fuel again You pick up a broadcast or you pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter the mantis They're here, please. You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Okay. They have a beam and what looks to be a fairly nasty laser There will come a time when our default weapons are not strong enough to win I don't think that time is now, though, but they do have two bars of shields, which is annoying. Uh, we should be able to get some hits in. We might have to get a little lucky. But they're not going to be able to do too much damage to me, either, without proper timing. Okay, good. We're at least doing some hull damage. I'm focusing my ion blast on their shields, predominantly just so that we can um, keep their shields down, because they have two bars of it. Their beam does nothing to us. Um, so as long as we can like land a shot on something, sure, we've taken out their piloting system, and the O2 is hurt. And the hull is just hemorrhaging damage now. Sure, this is fine, but um, doesn't really matter. If we could just speed it up, that would be great, Mr. Droney. Uh, how does it still have weapon power? That's what's crazy to me. But that should be it. All right. Uh, fairly easy fight, but we really, really need to pick up some fuel soon. That's two fuel and 33 scrap, which is good. There is a store. I know I said we need fuel. Uh, but what I'm going to do is try to get as much scrap as I can before I go to the store, so maybe we can buy another weapon as well. Because we are going to need one soon. Alright, so the Zoltan are here. Um, four fucking Zoltan. Luckily, they're pretty physically weak. Uh, but, they might be able to destroy the oxygen system. Ooh, that's not good. Um, Alright, well we're going to get our drone going, because at least the drone can whittle down the energy shield. Oh, they stopped trying to destroy the oxygen just at like the last possible second. They might be able to get the drone down though. Unless I distract them. Let's throw them like a piece of meat in here to be like, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Attack me instead. And then the oxygen will get to them and they'll leave. Okay, good. We do have uh, NG uh, nanobots dispersing right now. Uh, oh, you need to get into the med bay. Oh god, run my NG friend. Thank you. Uh, are they going to be able to destroy the engine? Probably one bar, and then they're going to make it into the shields. This is not good for them. You go hide in the med bay as well. You're not this, You're not going to like this. <laughs> they're probably going to be able to destroy one bar of shields. This is, I mean, they have four of them. What am I supposed to do? Right? We, we've, we've taken out their shields. They're, please tell me they don't... Ah, yes, they stopped before they took out, uh, before they took out any more bars. Are you really just going to attack the doors now? Like, that's just bad for, for everybody. We're all gonna die on the ship if you attack the doors. And, I mean, you're you're gonna die, but it's really a matter of whether you want to die on the ship or elsewhere. Um, so sensors are out, their ship is dead. If you want to fight me in the med bay, like, yeah, it's by all means, but uh, we get 34 scrap for that, which is pretty good. These guys are basically exploding in a puff of dust. Um, there should be a button that is just like, everybody get to the med bay. We're gonna close all doors. Uh, and once people are healed, actually, we should just have them start repairing right away. The reason behind that is um, because we uh, will have the metabots come out, so that'll be fine. This will speed it up a little bit. All right, sensors are repaired. Oxygen is fine. Shields are not good, but they'll get fixed. Okay, so that went okay. It was not the easiest thing in the world, but it's a. It worked out fine, I guess. We're gonna go to the store. We should probably heal up a little bit. In addition to healing up, um, we should definitely. Uh, everything's healed. Okay, good. Um, we should buy a weapon if we can, and that would require also upgrading our weapon power or selling our drone. I like our drone, but I like having a laser that we can target ourselves instead. Now, with seven fuel, we can get to the store this way. It's kind of hard to see because of the line, but yeah, we're going to keep jumping so we can get extra scrap on the way to the, uh, on the, way to the, uh, the store, basically. You arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. 
Never have I agreed more, but at least we don't have intruders to deal with this time. So, Ion Blast on the shields, and a drone part just goes out there to start with. Now, of course, um, on an asteroid field, uh, the person with less shields is at a disadvantage. We technically have basically the same amount of, amounts of shields, so I feel like we're pretty good in this case. Except I'm going to disable more of them due to ions, and if we just get one lucky shot and start to do some damage here, like that, there we go. Uh, we've opened up a scene before they did. They're not going to be able to dodge any more asteroids. We took out a weapon, and their shields are just going to stay permanently down. They also have no oxygen. Asteroids are just tearing them apart. This is going to be over before they even have a chance to do anything. Smart planning. Okay, so with them being dead, uh, we get 23 scrap, two more fuel. That's good news. We're up to 102. Now we will go to our store. And I would really love to buy a second weapon here if possible. Let's see. Um, they have some crew members. They have hacking. Targets a single system, locking its doors and granting the ability to temporarily disable or disrupt it requires a drone part to launch. So it starts with a four second disruption. A four second disruption of shields would be amazing. What is um, the backup battery? Provides a 30 second bower, uh, power boost to your reactor. That's That seems useful as well. Um, why don't we go for hacking? It could be cool. And maybe we'll, we'll pick up a little fuel. Ah, we should fix up instead. Fuel's all right. We can buy one fuel. Um, so now we have a hacking unit. I don't quite know how to use it. <laughs> but, okay, here. Uh, hacking. Lock down a system room while periodically disrupting the system and stunning crew. Four second disruption. Add power is L. Remove power is shift L. Okay, um... I guess we'll just see how this works. We're gonna probably start the hemorrhage drone parts pretty quickly because we still need them to do damage in the first place. But we can also shut down enemy shields and then maybe not have to use power for ion blasts. Let's try it for a second. Okay, so the oh lordy lordy, um, we really not enough power. Disable one engine put the power. Um, we really, really need to uh, disable their drones as soon as possible, and we're gonna shoot on their shields. Um, Oh, that they have like a drone defender. That's amazing. It actually just cost me a drone part. Oh shit. Well, I'm just gonna have to escape from this fight, right? Like, there's no way. That drone shoots my ions out of the sky. Well, um, I guess what we can try to do is use it on their uh, use our hacking on their drone control room, like that. That locks it down. Did it work? No, they shot it down on its way in. I don't know what to do! <laughs> they, they've stopped us cold. Oh no, we hacked it! Oh, that's sweet. But it's we still can't do anything. We're just gonna have to get away. That's unfortunate. We're gonna take some hull damage here. We wasted a lot of drone parts. Or what is this? Does this this is powering it down? Okay, I clicked the I clicked the button. It's gonna power down for four seconds. Oh, it gave us a chance! We're in! I still don't think I wanna fight here. Is that gonna it didn't destroy all of their um, drones. It did destroy the annoying one though. Can we, does it cost us a drone part every time we do it? I don't think, I would be surprised if it did. Let's send our drone out. Oh no, you know what? We've already spent the point, that sucks. Um, yeah, that was that was really dumb of me. I just wasted a drone part, basically. We're, we're just gonna leave, uh, but I appreciate that we've learned how to deal with this. And uh, we are gonna use a lot of drone parts, but hacking would be useful anyway. Um, okay, so there's nothing here. Let us uh, jump to the exit. Looks like we can't use our combat drone for a few more seconds. I probably shouldn't have jumped yet. Uh, you look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our home alive. I'm an engineer by trade, and we could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. Okay. It puts us really low on fuel, but they did give us one reactor power? That doesn't seem worth it. Uh, amazing. Fantastic. So incredible. That's cool. Let's wait for our drone to be able to be sent out again. And I think we're we're in pretty dire straits here, but we're, go, we're going to the next sector anyway. Um, we'll go to the nebula. It scares the crap out of me going to the nebula, but let's mix it up for variety's sake. So, alright, uh, there is a pretty clear path to get out of here, but um, we really need some fuel, otherwise we're going to die the same way we died last time. Oh, we got, okay. We got a burst laser mark too. That's super useful. We don't have to use drone parts for our drone anymore, but we need more weapon power. Um, and also 21 extra scrap. Ion blast is probably better than the burst laser, but I don't know. We need two more weapon power. For now, we, we don't have any fuel, so we're going to wait with our distress beacon on, and hopefully someone will help us out. Um, we can trade two missiles for four fuel. That's awesome. Then let's move. Okay, so that was scary. Now we'll try to upgrade our weapon, because if we can have uh, burst lasers firing, 
with the Ion Blaster, then we won't actually need to use drone parts to do any damage, which would be extremely useful. We can at least get to the exit this way and go down to the next sector, but we're not really gaining too much here. We can trade two fuel for five missiles. Ignore. Well, uh, hopefully there's some fuel at the exit, otherwise this is going to be the quickest sector we've ever had of all time. And it uh, looks like that's the way it's going to be, so let's go to the slug-controlled nebula and hope to god that we get more fuel. At least I made it a little distance after running out of fuel. I don't know if fuel is like, harder to come by in the advanced edition. We're going to have to wait here. Um, what do we get? No ships. Okay. We'll wait. The rebels will pretty quickly start to approach us. Nothing happens. Uh, here come the rebels. This scares the crap out of me. Okay, a ship responding to your distress moves in. Unfortunately, it turns out to be an automated rebel scout. It immediately reverses thrust after scanning your ship. So, this time... Oh, it has cloaking. We're going to activate our burst laser instead of the ion blast. Because basically when it uncloaks, then I'm just going to shoot at its cloaking device. Man, this ship has no shields but a fuck ton of weaponry. Actually, might not be the worst thing in the world to send out a drone after, just to do some damage, hopefully. Yeah, and that took our weapons offline, so luckily I did send out something that can at least shoot it for a while. Uh, it took one of its weapons offline, took its piloting system offline. People are leveling up a little bit, that's good. If you could take the cloaking device offline, that would be, like, super awesome. Oh, I guess the... Uh, why is it disabled? Or it's probably just on cooldown. Alright, burst laser's ready to go. Almost. Oh, you are so close to making it work! Alright, drone. We're gonna we're gonna survive this, but do we deserve to? That's a good question. Sort of. Uh, drone shoots on the cloaking device. Burst laser is gonna finish the job. Not before our hacking system opens up a, a breach, though, or has a breach opened up on it. We got some more fuel there. Okay. I mean, it's good, uh, but we're we're running out of basically every important resource that we could possibly uh, be hoping for right now. But the hacking system is cool. I. I I can imagine this being really useful to, like, hack enemy shields. And if you can keep shields down for four seconds, you could do a ton of hull damage. We're just going to try to get as far away as we can uh, from our impending mortality. What do we have here? The distress call appears to be emanating from a slug ship caught in open space by a Mantis Raider. They contact you on an emergency frequency. Please, we'll give you all we have if you save us. Of all those species in the galaxy, these two deserve one another. You power up the jump drive. That's number three. Attack the slug ship or attack the Mantis ship. We'll attack the Mantises. I don't like them! Um, what we will do here, though, look at this ship. Three bars of shields and lots of nasty weaponry. I am going to send in uh, a drone part to attack their um, their shields. And we're going to try to do this with just hacking and the burst laser. So you can see what's going on here. Their shields are going to be disabled. Let's wait until the burst laser comes up. Come on. Okay, burst laser's ready. There we go. We're going to hack the system. It It's worked. Are they, are they down or are they just going down? That's what's hard to tell. I, I can't tell what happened! We got a fire in our drone control room and our hacking system is not disabled but offline, I think. Is that correct? Please tell me it's not disabled. If I put someone in the hacking room, do they hack faster? I have to imagine that's probably the case. Um, the fire in our drone control room is going to be a real, real freaking problem. I think we die here. I think we probably end up dying here. Uh, let's... Drones are gonna be fixed in as... No, they're not. Uh, get in here and fix the door. Okay, burst laser's ready. The problem is we can't do anything with just the burst laser. I have to send out a combat drone as well. There we go. Um, so combat drone plus burst laser, and then we'll disable the shields. Or at least hurt them a little bit. I kinda don't understand how they work, to be honest with you. We may end up living here. Ion Blast maybe is better, now that I think about it. Um... Yeah, we're not doing any damage. But that's okay, we can get some repairs done there. I think we might be screwed. I kind of don't understand why, either. Uh, maybe hacking doesn't work as well as I thought. I really thought hacking would just completely disable their shields, but it looks like it just disrupts them. Which is less good for me. Um, don't attack the weapons. You should attack the shields, Burst Laser. On the off chance that our drones attack at the same time, but I think our drone got killed somehow. Alright, so we'll wait until Burst Laser is ready to fire again. Oh my god, okay. Get into the shield room. It's okay, Tomo. What are you freaking out about, Tomo? It's okay, yeah, daddy's gonna die in FTL, that's not a problem. I'm not the biological uh, father, it's a cat, that would be weird. Okay, so what am I thinking here? I am thinking, we have zero shields up, uh, excuse me, oh, because of the ion bomb. Okay, um, I'm thinking, next time burst laser comes up, we should turn auto fire off. Uh, we'll hack and then shoot burst laser at the shields at the same time. If we live long enough. Okay, here comes burst laser. So we're gonna hack, and then burst laser the shields. 
Did it work? We did nothing. Largely because we missed, though. So this is going to be our death. It was fun. NG Cruiser, not my favorite, and we didn't get as far as we got last time, but it was a good try anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Our score was nearly the same. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. The support really, really helps out, especially early on in a series lifespan. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more FTL Advanced Edition. We've still got plenty of new stuff to uncover, new alien race, plenty of new ship layouts, etc., etc. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.